EcoFlow sent me their brand new Delta Pro Ultra X system. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through everything that's new and talk about whether it's really worth the upgrade if you own the Ultra. Overall, the Delta X is a much more streamlined product and it really doubles down on the four things that are most important for home backup. First, the AC inverter is now much more powerful at 12,000 watts at 240 volts dual phase. Second, battery storage capacity has doubled to 60 kilowatt hours. Third, solar input is almost twice as powerful at 10,000 watts. And lastly, they've expanded their home integration ecosystem so it can compete with Tesla Powerwalls and Generac whole home backup systems, but with much lower costs and easier installation. These are massive upgrades, but the Delta Pro X is not a whole new system. In fact, it's just a brand new inverter module. You can still use your existing six kilowatt hour LFP battery modules from the original Ultra, which is really great because if you invested in a large system like I have, it's nice to know that you can upgrade the firmware and use them with the new Delta Ultra X. One of the things I like most about the Ultra X is just how easy it is to set up. It's truly a plug and play operation and probably takes less than five minutes to put together. They include this heavy duty wheeled cart in the box with the inverter. Then you unpack your batteries and stack them on top of the wheeled cart. All right, now that your batteries are stacked up, you can just grab the inverter, stack it on top, and we're ready to connect everything together. The last thing you need to do to get this thing up and running is connect the inverter to the batteries. And EcoFlow has a really nice short, low profile cable that is used for that job. At a glance, the Ultra X looks similar to the original Ultra, but everything is much more refined. There's now a full color screen that gives you more information about the power flowing in and out of the system. It's not an essential feature, but it does look really cool compared to the simple LED display of the original. Along the front of the unit, there's only AC outputs now. There's a pair of standard 120 volt outlets capable of 20 amps of power down from four on the original. For 240 volt dual phase output, there's the same 30 amp outlet that was previously the high output port on the original Ultra. To take full advantage of the more powerful inverter, there's now a 50 amp outlet to harness the full 12,000 watts this beast can output. EcoFlow is completely focused on AC output, so they've gotten rid of the USB and high power DC outputs that the original Ultra had. Now, honestly, I think that's a great idea because I never used those ports on my Ultra in the entire year I was testing it. The Ultra is all about high power AC output, and this is unbelievably powerful. The 7200 watt inverter in the Ultra has been upgraded to 12,000 watts of dual phase 240 volt output. That's 67% more powerful. In fact, this is now more powerful than the 11,500 watt inverter in the Tesla Powerwall 3, which is pretty incredible for a portable system that doesn't need professional installation. To put that in perspective, I checked my electrical bill for the last two years, and I've never used more than 9,000 watts at a time. So this will have no trouble at all running all the appliances in my house. I have two big ACs, induction stove, dual electric ovens, and an electric clothes dryer, so I don't exactly have light loads. To reach the full 12,000 watts of AC output, you need to connect a second battery to the inverter so that it can supply enough current. To make this happen, the Ultra X inverter has two battery ports and they include this extra long cable in the box that can reach a second battery. If you have a simple two battery system like this, you can connect the top battery with the standard low profile connector here and use the longer cable to connect to the bottom battery. The Ultra lets you chain up to five of their six kilowatt hour batteries with these low profile connectors to reach 30 kilowatt hours of storage. The second port on the Ultra X lets you expand this up to 60 kilowatt hours by connecting two stacks of five batteries apiece. That's a massive amount of storage and is roughly equal to four and a half Tesla Powerwalls. Solar has also been seriously upgraded on the Ultra X. The original Ultra could handle 5.6 kilowatt hours of solar split across two inputs. The low PV input was for smaller arrays up to 1600 watts. The high PV input was rated at 4000 watts. The Ultra X now has two identical MPPT solar charge controllers, each capable of 5000 watts of power for 10,000 watts total. Each can support solar arrays between 80 and 500 volts, which means you can connect a large rooftop solar array. For example, I have a 9.6 kilowatt array on my roof and the Ultra X could handle a system this large, no problem. 
It's really great to have this 500 volt limit on the solar charge controllers because it lets you have a lot of flexibility on how you choose to wire these up. The only downside with these much larger solar charge controllers is that you have to have 80 volts minimum, which means you're going to need to connect two, three, or maybe even four large solar panels to hit that minimum. The solar connectors have also been completely redesigned. On the original Ultra, there was a set of MC4 inputs and a disconnect switch on the side for high PV input and a special connector on the front for low PV input. There's now two sets of standard MC4 inputs on the back for each solar input with a handy door that makes it much easier to access the connectors. The solar disconnect switch on my original Ultra actually broke and I had to mail the entire inverter back to EcoFlow to get a replacement. So I'm happy to report that they now include a separate disconnect module in the box that's way easier to replace and you can mount it on the wall. You hardwire your solar cables in here and plug the MC4 output cables into the back of the unit. It's much tidier and robust and I'm so happy they redesigned this. The new wall charger cable charges at up to 1800 watts. The wall charging cable has also been completely redesigned so that it uses the same beefy cable that's used to connect this to a large generator or a level 2 EV charger. You can also hybrid charge with AC and solar at 11.8 kilowatts. At these speeds, you can recharge a two battery, 12 kilowatt hour system in a little over an hour, which is pretty incredible. The last but most important part of the puzzle here is how to connect the Ultra X into your home's electrical system and the grid. And EcoFlow has a lot of new offerings on this front. The Smart Home Panel 2 from last year was a slick app-controlled automatic transfer switch, but it only handled 12 circuits, so it was only useful for critical loads. The third generation has been scaled up to 32 circuits and 200 amps of power, so it can completely replace your house's electrical panel if you want to make it smart. If that's a little too much, you can also wire it up as a sub-panel like before. They also offer a 200 amp smart gateway that is a six circuit smart transfer switch if you just need the essentials. Both can manage multiple energy sources and automatically switch over to battery power when the grid goes down. It also provides remote monitoring through their app for control and cost savings. They also offer a new EV charger and CT sensor. The benefit of a system like the Ultra X is installation is much quicker and cheaper than a system like a Tesla Powerwall or Generac Whole Home Generator because you just need to install the Smart Home Panel 3 or Smart Gateway and the rest is plug and play. I've always struggled with trying to find an electrician who's interested in installing these more cutting edge solutions. I'm happy to see that EcoFlow is setting up a network of certified electricians to get you up and running quickly. If you already have a transfer switch or interlock for a gas generator, you can just plug this right in. No additional installation needed. Best of all, if you move, you can take this whole system with you, which is really important after making a large investment like this. After testing this for a few weeks, I came away very impressed with the output and quietness of the Ultra X. It could run anything I threw at it, and I was able to run all the circuits of my house at the same time, including my air conditioning units, and it didn't even blink. So what if you already own an Ultra system? Should you upgrade? This is kind of a complicated question, and it's gonna come down to the pricing, which I don't quite know yet. What I will say is this is the quietest and most powerful inverter and solar charger you can get, and it's incredible that it's a plug and play system. Now, I don't think this is a home run for everyone. If you find that the current Ultra gives you enough storage and enough AC output, and you like the flexibility of having the low PV input, I'd say stick with that. But if you're someone like me who wants the maximum amount of power and scalability in a system like this, the Ultra is kind of a no-brainer. So what do you think about the new Ultra X? Let me know down in the comments, and I will try to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time.